Oh, in that case, why don't we go on a date with Nanami now? Do we have enough gifts and stuff? Uh, I think I do, but I have to check every time because I always forget. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll give her the Trinity stuff. Recommended for mature women, right? Yeah. Alright. I went and got a checkup at Children's Park, by the way, so my mortal wounds are gone now, too. Hey, Yagami-san. Hey there. Sorry to drag you out like this. Yeah? Actually, I'm happy to help. I mean, we're going on a real detective case here. There's no way I'd pass that up. Nanami's hair looks lighter colored here. Maybe because it's morning time. Oh, that's right. Maybe I should give Nanami-san a present. <sighs> we don't really have that much to choose from, really. A watch? It feels like Nanami would like more expensive things. I don't know. Nanami-san, here's something I thought would look good on you. Or it's more like because we have four girlfriends and three of them are kind of more low-key with the money. This is the one who likes the money, right? <laughs> really? Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know if you'll like it or not, though. Oh, this is... neat? Huh? Oh, she doesn't like it! Is it not really your style? Not exactly. It's... I don't know, flashy? Oh, I can see that. But maybe it'll look better once I try it on. True. I'm sure you'll make it look good. Oh, damn, we gave her something she didn't like. Thank you, Yagami-san. Mm, looks like she wasn't too fond of it. How do we tell who likes what? Is there a way? Do you have any problem acting like a couple? Yeah, I mean, looking at her current earrings right now, I guess she's not really that flashy. But she is wearing a pretty thick necklace that looks kind of gold. <laughs> not at all. In fact, I've been doing some extensive mental preparation just for this. You sure seem excited. I'm excited too. Well, an opportunity like this only comes around once in a blue moon. Is the target here yet? She should be showing up any minute now. And there she is. Oh, there she is. That's who we're looking for? <laughs> she doesn't realize already, does she? Mm. Wow, she sticks out like a sore thumb. Mm. Huh? I feel like I've seen her around before. Mm, maybe that's just your imagination? Mm. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, she sticks out like a sore thumb, so you think you've seen her before. And maybe you have. Uh, I wouldn't stare too much at the target if I were you. Otherwise, she might catch on to us. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Avoid unnecessary eye contact. That's one of the basics of investigation. Roger that, sir. Nanami knows Yuko so well. She might be able to recognize her even at a subconscious level. We should definitely keep our distance. Alright. So, we're gonna do our best to follow her around without being noticed. Is this what you call tailing? Yup. Yeah. Whatever actions we take from here on out, we need to be absolutely sure not to raise her suspicion. Looking at her face is especially off-limits. For many reasons. <laughs> Understood. I'll be careful not to mess things up. Oh, it's an actual tailing mission. What about the acting like a couple part, though? How does that come in? Nanami? You don't have to be that far behind. <laughs> Do we actually have to treat this like a normal tailing mission? Like I'd hide behind the car and all? Nanami? Yeah, she's not very suspecting because that's not our plan here. Nanami, you gotta keep up with me. Otherwise, we can't pretend to be a couple. <laughs> Yuko's not looking back at all. Whoa, whoa! Oh, okay. Thought she was gonna look back. Oh, I wonder what she's up to. 
Ah. Uh, staring right at us. Uh oh. I think she's starting to notice us. I didn't ask her to go over the top like that. <laughs> this is hilarious. You know, she really does remind me of someone. Who could that be? Oh, this is not good. Uh, <laughs> ah, what are you doing? Shh. We need to pretend we're like a couple. Oh, right. <laughs> Why do you keep looking this way? She wants to see the action. This is getting kind of embarrassing. Are you going to be staring at us this whole time? <laughs> you go! Hmm? What? Give... Her... A... Big... Wet... Kiss? Is that what she's trying to tell me? <laughs> Be for it's too late. <laughs> Are you sure about this? I think she'll slap me. Man, for a second there, I thought it was all over. Okay, good, you didn't do it. Yeah. Our cover was almost blown, huh? Right. That's what I meant. Hmm. Oh, Nanami's not an idiot. She's gonna catch on by the end here. Alright, let's go see what she's up to. Okay, let's go, Nanami. Jesus. It's one thing to pretend to be a couple by holding hands or whatever. But it's another thing to be planting a big wet kiss on somebody. That's basically sexual harassment. Is it even possible for us to fail this? Is Yuko's not looking back at all? Oh, oh. That's a tad too close. <laughs> Nanami! <laughs> That's great. Gonna nummy. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you looking back? You go, come on! We're trying to catch her cheating, right? Maybe meeting with someone else? Do we have another person here though, or. He's ordering at a cafe. You think she's having a little rendezvous with her secret lover inside? Only one way to find out. We didn't even give Nanami any information on the supposed secret lover. Like, what does he look like, or... Guess we'll have to play the waiting game. Oh, wow, this is amazing! Alright, now's my chance to talk to her. Well, instead of just waiting around, we might as well talk about something. That's what a normal couple would do. Yeah. Wow, this is an amazing segue into a date. I love this. I wanted to say this earlier, but thanks for helping me out today. No problem. I've always wondered how detectives do their jobs, so I'm glad you let me tag along. And besides, people who cheat should be punished. It's pretty disrespectful, I'll say that much. Sad thing is, I see it happen over and over again in this line of work. Why do you think that is? Because people want to have their cake and eat it, okay? And people are too weak to break it off with their current partners, and they are awful people. Is what I want to say, but I feel like there's actually a lot of different factors. <laughs> wait, 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 are you saying that only men cheat? Come on. No, don't say that. I wonder. I can't really understand what would go through a cheater's mind. Right? 
It's like, why would they even have a relationship to begin with? <sighs> this is... This is a big topic. It's one thing to understand that cheating is a bad thing, and it's another thing to not do it, is what I want to say. I mean, this is coming from somebody who has been on the, the victim side of this, so I'm not just saying this because I want to cheat on somebody. If you really love someone, you wouldn't be able to hurt them like that. Too true. Well, that would be true in a perfect world, but people are often not as nearly as loyal as they say they would be. So I noticed we haven't really gone out in a while. Is it that I'm getting in the way of your work? What? That's not it. You sure you're not just avoiding me? Hey, I really have been busy. I mean it. Um... Push gently. Okay, I understand. But if there ever is a time you and I can go out, please let me know. I guess I can make some time. Provided all my work gets done. Wow, the bar is full already, despite the crappy gift in the beginning. But why ask me so directly? Because I like you. <laughs> well, I heard from Yuko-san that you've been turning down every guy who's asked you out. And I guess I didn't want you to think of me as just another heartbreaker. I would never think that. Ever. Because, Yagami-san... I think you're special. You do? Yes, you saved my life, and you're constantly surpassing my expectations. No one else is like that. Okay, how am I surpassing your expectations? By saying that I think cheating is bad, and by saying that I don't think romance is necessary. <laughs> but can you see me as a love interest? Well, I wouldn't outright reject you. And I do think you're a pretty good guy. I'm glad you think that way. Sorry if anything I said rubbed you the wrong way. Yeah. Nanami-san, has anyone cheated on you before? Yeah, because officially we don't know this. That's kind of a direct question to ask, though. There was this guy I dated. Uh-huh. I loved him from the bottom of my heart, you know. I would have done anything for him. But he ended up cheating on me like it was no big deal. Called it a moment of weakness, douchebag. So that's what happened. Yeah, I was still young and naive, so it felt like my whole world was centered around him. What an idiot I was for trusting him. Even though it happened so long ago, it still stings. Oh. I'm sorry you had that experience. Hmm, there's not much you can say to that. Well, it was a long time ago. I thought I'd completely forgotten about it. And here I am, lost in that awful memory, like it was only yesterday. I feel bad now. You should. No, it's not your fault, Yagami-san. I'm letting this stay in the past, so it doesn't bother me anymore. Or at least, it shouldn't bother me. Maybe I'm not really over it. Honestly? I think this is the correct answer here. Honestly. So, like I've mentioned before, I'm not interested in dating anyone. But at the same time, I feel like I'm burying myself in work in order to hide from my past. At least Yuko thinks so. Then, if you met someone that was right for you, would you give that person a chance? Well... Yes, I would. If someone like that even existed. You haven't met anyone like that yet? Hmm... Who knows? She can't say no because she's met me. Hmm. Ha, I see you're dodging the question. Oh, let her dodge it. I feel bad. I don't want to mess around with her. This is so bad. Cheating is so bad. Oh, whoa, she's so close. 
I need more faces. Seriously. Gosh. <laughs> She's not even looking at the camera. Eh. Oh my god, if she looked at my phone. Jesus. Oh, even this even this might be something. My future girlfriend looks on my phone. Hey, who is this girl? <laughs> the first one where she blinked. Uh, feel bad. The more we do this dating thing, the worse I feel. Even though initially I was the one who was like, Okay, we cannot do all the side quests, but we gotta do all the girlfriends. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Hmm, looks good. I'll send this over there later. <sighs> I never imagined I would open up about my past to anyone, let alone a guy. I'm glad you did, because now I feel like I know you a little better. I feel like I got to know you too. Did your impression of me change at all? Yeah. Nope, still the same. I still think you're a wonderful person. Thanks for being so understanding. <sighs> oh, but what if she finds out I was, like, me and Yuko have been planning this thing with her? That's gonna ruin it. Um, hey, Yagami-san. What's up? I think our target's watching us. <laughs> Yuko! Oh. Stop! Did we get caught? <laughs> oh, don't tell me. She wants me to get more physical? <sighs> Alright. In order to throw her off, we have to do something only a couple would do. <sighs> hmm. I wonder what that would be. Uh, no. <sighs> Will you feed me something? Uh -huh. You want me to feed you? Yeah. Lovers feed each other all the time. <laughs> Only the PDA ones! <laughs> all I have is this coffee spoon, though. I'm sure she can't tell from this distance. Uh, all right then. Here goes. <laughs> Open wide! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Honestly, that was so embarrassing. But we managed to throw off her suspicion. Oh. I don't think the kiss was gonna fly. So it seems. Or at least I think it shouldn't. Oh, that must be one of her theater friends. Oh, isn't that... Her secret lover? Probably. Why don't we take a picture just in case? Oh, can I take the picture? Sure. Just don't get too close. And don't look at the person's face, okay? Of course. I'll make sure I won't get found out. Oh, good enough, I suppose. It's only in the back, though. Alright. Picture perfect. Hmm? Mm. I swear I've seen this face before. Mm, maybe she looks like someone famous? Ah, you might be right. Oh. Well, we managed to get what I needed, so I think that's all for today. And we did it without getting caught. Uh. Seriously. Though we had a few close calls, didn't we? We did? <laughs> Questionable, right? Feel bad for leading this girl on. Thanks for coming, Nanami-san. I managed to get some solid evidence. <laughs> of course! I was thrilled to do it. I've never done anything remotely like this before. Good. Cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Even though we were acting, it still made my heart flutter. Was it like that for you too? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's been a long time since I felt this excited about something. You know, I really enjoyed having you along today. Thanks! I had a great time too. Let me know when you have any new investigations, okay? Uh, 
Are we only allowed to hang out if work is involved? Hmm? I want to get to know you, Nanami-san. On a more personal level. That might be a bit too forward for her. Truthfully, I want the same thing. Really? <laughs> yes. I learned so much about you today, aside from your skills as a detective. And I liked what I saw. What exactly did you learn about me today? I don't remember telling you anything. So... What I'm trying to say is... I'd also like to spend more time with you. Great. I seem to have a pretty good chance here, don't I? Does that mean our next day will be a real one? <laughs> I guess it would. Well then. I'll give you a call sometime. Okay. I'll be waiting. Well, for someone who apparently hated guys to begin with, she wasn't really that unreceptive to the whole thing. I'm surprised Yuko hasn't texted me yet. Hey, Yagami-san. I wanted to thank you for the valuable experience today and for listening to me. No, thank you for cooperating with me. Did you report your findings to the client? Not yet. No, not yet. It's not that easy to break the news. I understand. When you find out what happens, please tell me. I will. I think we're finding out right now. So, how's everything going with Nanami? Good, I hope? So far, so good. I think she'll probably go out with me again. Yay, so our plan worked! I still feel bad lying to her, though. You aren't doing anything bad, Yagami-san. Besides, I pushed you to do this. And I agree to do it. Well, what's more important is what happens next. This is the kind of thing that we can never tell Nanami, unless if we're, like, getting married, and then, like, the day after we get married, or the night of, I'll be like, Nanami, actually, remember that time when we went on that case with the client? <laughs> That's right, you gotta ask her out. Can I do that right now? Not exactly. Okay, well, that was the thing that happened. Why don't we go rescue Tashiro-kun then? I think he's been waiting a while here. When will we get to text Nanami? I'm not sure at this point. Hopefully soon. Okay. Tashiro-kun! Are you all right? Probably not. Oh god. Nah. Hey. You guys are done here. Huh? You again. Yagami. <laughs> you look like shit, Tashiro-kun. What do they do? Be your clothes up first? <laughs> This motherfucker. Eh, ah, well, that's fine. Now I can get rid of both of you clowns at once. I wouldn't be so sure. It's not a matter of that. When I make the decision to off someone, then it may as well have already happened. Get ready to die. Didn't I already beat you guys up last time? How are you so overconfident? Boom! So many boxes here. We've got enough boxes for everybody here. Or are these little plastic trays? They're not really boxes. Again! Boom! We should try to use R2 to try to trigger some of the rare EX actions. Kano? This annoying guy here. Goodbye. And now you! Perfect. Nah. 
You okay, Tashiro-kun? Fuck off, man! I said I didn't need your help the first time. Besides, civilians shouldn't be messing around with the Yakuza anyway. Oh, I'm hardly a civilian. Are you even aware what could happen to you? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Whether I'm Yakuza or not, there's no way I'd abandon a guy like you. Huh? What? Even though Matsugane-san is gone, that doesn't mean I stopped caring about the family. Tashiro-kun, you stood up for more than just yourself back there. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud. Matsugane-san would be too. <laughs> he even says that kind of shit. You really are an idiot, man. Nah. I'm being serious. Now can you get home by yourself? Or do you need me to call an ambulance? What I need is for you to leave me the fuck alone! Fine. Then I'm gone. Oi. Hold up. Hmm? Yeah? <laughs> I owe you one. Okay, cool. <laughs> huh. You don't owe me a thing, man. Just do you. Now it's a little bit out of the way, I think, but since we're doing some friend events anyway, I want to go back to Kane Man, Kane Man's brother, back at Shellac, or Earth Angel, one of those places. Because number one, we haven't finished the alcohol drinking yet, and number two, we haven't done the friend event yet. Oh, there's two! There's two friends here. I think Kane Man was at Earth Angel. I'm not drunk today. I'll check on the list later on. Ano. Yo, Yagami. You better stick around to the end today. Now let's get a drinkin'. <laughs> well, well. Looks like you can hang after all. Good, because I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> huh. You sure can handle your liquor. But can you handle another round? No problem. Ha! I guess you really weren't all talk. Why don't we call it a day? Uh. Sure. Damn. Never thought I'd lose when it comes to drinking booze. I gotta rebuild myself from scotch or scratch. <laughs> guess today's drinks are on my dime, eh? Those are the rules. That's pretty much it. Marina. <laughs> Cheers to you then. I thought we would get some in-depth conversation or something, but it literally was just drinking. He's not here anymore. At the very minimum, I should be able to do some of the checklist stuff here. Not that much, though. Only one. Well, okay. Maybe I can find someone outside to fight, and then I can get rid of the counter right away. Hopefully. When I was walking here, I did see a bunch of Yakuza walk by, but uh... Because if possible, I do want to go to Shellac here too, but it's not really good for me to go to an alcohol place when I'm full. When I'm not sober, I mean. Well, at the very minimum, we can go check out what's going on here. There's apparently another friend. Oh... Have we seen that guy before? Yagami-san! Oh, this is the... Um, the Bansom guy, the detective. Yagami-san! So we meet again. Mm -hmm. You're the journalist from before. Yeah. The name's Hiranuma, and I'm actually just a freelancer now, but that's neither here nor there. Ano. Sorry to throw this at you, but I hear you're not only a detective, but also a jack-of-all-trades, is that right? I'm not sure where you heard that, but I'll take a case as long as it's off my alley. Most of the time. I see. Then I have a job for you. I need you to take some pictures of a certain someone. I'll be compensating you, of course. How does 50,000 yen sound? Like, crap, but I'll do it anyway. Hey. That'd be nice. Who's this certain someone you need pictures of? You know Kotatsu Higurashi, right? The guy who framed Horny Hinata? He's apparently been on hiatus ever since that whole fiasco. So I need you to get me his picture. Mm -hmm. What could you possibly do with that, though? Uh, be a paparazzi and talk about how his life is miserable now? Well, apparently he's been going through some hard times. Heard his agency has been keeping him from appearing on TV and such. 
And since he can't land gigs on his own, he resorted to pestering customers on San Nuevo Avenue as a barker. <laughs> Frankly, I thought that sounded pretty funny, so I want to see it for myself. He's really fallen down the hole, hasn't he? Yup. Maybe he thought it'd be easier to pull people in, given his 15 minutes of fame, if you could call it that. But anyway, would you mind helping me out? Try to get as close as you can. Uh, I suppose. Did you tell me where he is, or did you want to continue that conversation? Sendio Avenue. Try to get a close up. We'll do that when we get past then. Is that guy gonna run away if I get too close, though? Huh. Hey, actually, K Man's right here again. Already. But the problem is, if I go now. I know he's probably gonna want to drink more, and I need to get rid of my... I need to get rid of my hangover, pretty much. <laughs> my drunkenness. Yes, who wants to fight? No, 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 use the... use the alcohol one, Yagami. There we go. The more I drink, the stronger I become. <laughs> it would be hilarious if we could do this move while wearing the disguises. But the disguises are only available for very, very specific times, which is definitely a shame. Oh, Ryan's here! Hey! Help a brother out! You gonna deal with him? I'll let you have the honors. <laughs> go, Ryan, go! Before the police come! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it stunned him. There you go! Oh! <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> the whole motorbike flipped over. Thanks, man. That was great. Okay, well... K-Man's brother? No, he has a name. Yes, it's not just K-Man's brother. Ironically enough, I don't know K-Man's name. Do we? I don't think so. I'm back again. Man, I got absolutely destroyed last time. I was in my liver. So I've been drinking my ass off since. Build tolerance. <laughs> Don't think I'll go down easy like last time, alright? <sighs> you really want your free drinks that bad, huh? Maybe you should trick someone else for a change. What if I could? But word about me is already spread throughout this entire area. <clears throat> the moment anyone hears about the drinking champ of the champion district, they freeze up like deer in the headlights. <laughs> More like freeloading champ of the champion district. Now let's get down to business. Loser treats the winner, as you may already know. Yep. Oh. I guess I could drink for a bit. Now you're talking. Now let's get our drink on. We should be able to handle this. This... This is just the tip of the iceberg. It's drink or drown, Yagami. Bottoms up. This reminds me of... Madonka donk. <laughs> Maybe we should go back to that place sometime. So thirsty over here. Feels like I haven't had a drop to drink in weeks, am I right? Keep on coming. We got here last time. Level 5. Man, you're handling your business over there. Me? I'm doing just fine. Uh, no sorry. I'm done. Throwing in the towel here. Damn. Can't believe I ended up losing twice. <laughs> Guess drinks are on your dime today. Those are the rules, right? Yeah, I suppose. After all, a man's word is his bond. But let it be known that I'll get that free drink out of you someday. Someday. For now, I will continue on with... My checklists. Of course we can't get both. Have we finished the thing at... Shellac? I forgot to check earlier. 
But I suppose we can just go back and check once we get the picture of Kotatsu. Alright. Time for us to get back to the main case, I think. That would be back in the main office. Hey. Oh, this is Senryo's story right here. Oh. Okay, well, I can just take a picture of you right now if that's okay. Oh, here he is. Hey, buddy! Yeah, you! Over there! Wanna see some voluptuous vixens today? Looks like you could use the attention. Huh? Isn't that Higurashi? <laughs> hey, Higurashi! Do that thing you always do. You know, with your eyeballs. You wanna see me do something with balls, huh? Oi, oi! Then how about I whip out my dangly, leathery sack? Then we'll see who's laughing. Why would I laugh about that? Oh, let's get out of here. His new material is terrible. Yeah, you've really gone off the deep end. And I think I felt sorry for you. What? Fine then, get out of here. Bunch of cheap shits. Wow, he really has no shame, does he? I doubt he'll be making a comeback anytime soon. Well, time to get that photo. I need to get as close as I can. Just walk right up to his face. Oh, sir. Uh... Too close? How about now? Is that good enough? Mmm, it's kind of far, but this should work. Oh, whatever. They act like they grade me on the photos, but they don't give me any indication like of, of how to do it better or anything like that. Huh, nailed it. Now that's a solid picture. Guess it's back to Shalak for me. Right away? No, not right away. Oh, okay, well, Ryo is back again with Hironuma. <laughs> uh, you know what? Before we get back to the main case, sure, we can finish this off right here. I fought some Yakuza while I was walking back in this very short 100 meters distance. So I don't have alcohol again, and I can go get some more drinks. Oh, Ryan! Oh, guess we gotta put in some work here. When was the last time I even switched to the crane style? I don't even know. Feels like it's been forever because it really isn't necessary at some point. Whoa, that guy had a gun! My god. Come on, Ryan. Deal with that one guy over there. Hey! Come on. Last guy, Ryan. I'm counting on you. Oh, that was nice. From the back. Thanks, man. You've been helping me out a lot today. Want to go grab drinks? Probably not. <laughs> Ryan gives me the impression that he's not the best at holding his liquor. You know, just seeing the face of yours makes me depressed. You ought to buy me a drink regardless of who wins. Uh... You can't just decide that on your own. As always, whoever gets too sauce gets slapped with today's bill. What do you say? Okay. I'm gonna win, just saying. Alright, I guess I have time for a few drinks. Now you're talking, then let's get our drink on. Oh, that's refreshing. I really needed that. Did you feel anything? Not yet, right? Because we're just getting started. <laughs> You still good? Of course you are. Keep them coming, then. <laughs> That's funny. I actually feel less drunk than when I started. How about you, Yagami? You're looking pretty red. I look pretty okay, actually. <laughs> oh, still going, huh? Why don't we order some more? You can still, I mean, still keep drinking? Ugh. I still can't believe I got out drinking, out drank, out drunk. 
Whatever. I can't believe I lost you again. <laughs> Good thing the loser doesn't literally get slapped with a bill. You know, because I might hurt. <laughs> we did a lot of drinking in one go here. You got me, my man. It pains me to admit it, but you're the first person to ever drink me under the table. <laughs> As a testament to your strength, consider me your new ally. Eh? Come again? I hear a lot of rumors while I sit here drinking my ass off, you know? Aren't you being targeted by the Kahin gang? Well, I can't just sit here while a bunch of lowlife punks are messing with my ally. From now on, I'm gonna step in and help. Mm -hmm. Just like Ryan? Oh, I guess that's cool. Thanks. Making friends left and right. Then I'll see you on the battlefield. Damn, he's cool. <laughs> huh. From the bar to the battlefield, this guy just keeps on boozing. What a strange ally I've gained. But a welcome one nonetheless. Okay, now we can finally finish off this checklist here. Good thing we did the mystery writer's gambit thing. The puzzle? Because I actually feel like I have money again. <laughs> Going on dates at the casino was so bad for my wallet. Yeah, Conquer Earth Angel! Which really only gives me 100 SP. I feel like they should give me a tad more. Sh Shellac? Where's Shellac? Oh hey, there's a sweets guy. I don't know what's the function of those people walking around here. Uh, uh. Hiro Numa-san, I believe you wanted this? And Yagami-san delivers the goods. That was fast. That was fast. Yeah, I can definitely use this. I can almost see the headline already. Here's a little something for your trouble. <laughs> well, looks like it's back to the office for this guy. Thanks. Sure thing. Let me know if you ever need any more help. Hmm. I did finish here, right? I did. Yes, oh my god. This one, the gold champagne is like... More than the entire amount of money I had before I finished this uh, friend event here. That's a lot. Anyway, I think we're actually ready to go back to the office now.